Hello everybody, back here for you here and welcome to episode 46 of In Focus Friday. So last week we had a look at the Nanjing Mint Lazy Panda and it's a really really pretty medal. It's uh, one which split opinion a little bit. There were a few people who felt that it wasn't uh, necessarily a great thing to buy being a Chinese medal but then the overwhelming majority of people actually commented on just how beautiful it was. So it's a very very interesting piece. Make sure that you go have a look. The link's in the description below. Now the clear winner from last week's vote was the 10 ounce Tree of Life round. It's a fantastic coin, it's amazing, so thank you very much for voting if you did. Uh, the Britannia and the Gold Eagle will be returning at the end of this episode along with one additional item, so make sure you stick around to find out what that is and vote for next week. Now the Canadian Tree of Life round is one which I have picked up for myself and it is very very cool indeed. This is going to be part of the kind of long-term pension stack. It's one that I really, really like. I think it's going to be very, very cool to have and to hold on to for a long time. It's very unique, very cool. Um, and just generally, I think the ethos of this whole coin is fantastic. And it spoke to me, you know, I'm a very firm believer about the, you know, what goes around comes around and the decisions and actions that we all take, you know, really do lead to uh, what comes at us down the road in the future. Uh, so it's all in all a really, really cool coin. It spoke to me and that's kind of the reason why I was attracted to it and wanted to, to look to buy it. Uh, now it is from the Canadian Royal Mint. It is 2017. It's a 10 ounce coin, really big chunky coin. So it's about 7.7 .7 centimeters in diameter and it's made of 4.9 silver. So really very, very cool indeed. As I said, it's got the yin yang kind of um, design here with the tree of life. You've got the, the roots down below, the trunk and then the leaves on top and it's just a fantastic coin really very cool indeed uh, so you know as I said the yin yang side of things really is very cool we've got the kind of mirrored um, ethos of that whole design with the roots down at the bottom you know showing the ancestry of where things where things came from and uh, you know the strong roots going forwards and then you've got the tree trunk representing the kind of you know existence now the you know the basically the the present and how it all holds everything up and then you've got the future and the potential for the summer and the blossom of the tree uh, and you know the detailing on this is absolutely exquisite we've got the leaves here with all of the intricate detail on them we've got the bark obviously fantastic detail there and going down we've got the the tree of life roots really really exquisite detail rolling over each other like that all the way to the edge of the coin so all in all, really fantastic detail. The yin, the yang as well. The separation is very clear, very good boundaries there. And we've got excellent light play off the different sides of the yin, yang symbol. So really like that. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's just very, very attractive indeed. Um, now the other side, we have Queenie. So I'm just going to flip it over in here. Uh, so we have good old Queenie there. Now it's nothing really very special uh, when you've got sort of Queenie on these sides. They're just generally... Uh, the Queen, but you know, on a big coin like this, it really does show off the detail very well. Indeed, we've got some great radial light play coming off the design in the background as well. Uh, but overall, obviously, the coin shines from this side, and that's what it's all about, and that's what we we all want to see. Now, it is Canadian Royal Mint, so there might well be milk spotting issues coming in the future. Who knows? We'll only have to wait and see. But um, I think it's a really, really attractive coin, very, very pretty indeed, and it's one which I do think that going forward I'll be uh, quite happy to keep in that permanent stack. Even though I've said that I want to maybe keep more gold in the permanent stack than silver, it still doesn't mean I can't pick up silver, and I think this is the type of thing that I want to look to pick up going forward, you know, the big denomination silver coins and uh, really attractive silver coins like this one, which hopefully might hold a good premium in the future because they are just so aesthetically pleasing. So there we go, that's the Canadian Tree of Life round. I think it's a really, really cool thing. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, the one thing I couldn't find out actually was the mintage on these. Uh, I was looking around on loads of different dealers' websites and I couldn't find that anywhere. So if anybody knows or knows where one can find out that information, then please do share it with everybody. That would be fantastic. So that out the way, we have once again the returning coins of the uh, the Anniversary Britannia with the really cool radial pattern on the back here. Uh, we have a 10th ounce gold eagle, which I picked up a few weeks ago now. It's a really, really cool thing you don't get to see a lot over here in the UK. Uh, and then the new item for this week is another little Chinese medal, and this is the uh, the tiger medal uh, that you may well have seen through Numistaka's channel, but I picked this up um, through Lucky Maniero again. It's a really, really cool piece, very, very cheap for what it is. 
so I want to maybe talk about that at some point. So if you want to vote for any of those, please do leave a comment in this video. That would be very helpful. Uh, also stick a thumbs up on this, put the like there. It really helps get the word around, share the videos around on social media as well. That would be very helpful, very cool indeed. Otherwise, I've got a few cool videos planned this weekend. It's actually my one year anniversary on Sunday since I put my first video up here on the Backyard Bullion channel. So make sure you stick around to catch up uh, with my whole kind of update. I've got one year on and it's just amazing to be there. So um, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you can catch that video when it comes out on Sunday. Otherwise, just want to say a massive thank you to everybody for watching and please make sure that you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.